Today we are going to process live and after the fact or ATF batch payroll in Drake Accounting. Batch payroll can expedite payroll processing as it brings up a grid with all employees and you make adjustments to fields as needed instead of processing each individual employee as you do in live and ATF payroll. This tutorial assumes you have set up your client, including the client's deductions and benefits and employee setup in the employee module. From the client selector screen, select the client for whom you are processing batch payroll. On the left side of the screen, expand the employees module and then open payroll and click batch. Under initial setup, enter a unique name for the batch. Next, use the drop list to select the pay period ending date. Select a specific pay frequency from the drop list to filter the employees. To process as after the fact payroll, check mark printed and enter a check date. These two fields are not used when processing live batch payroll. You also have the option of entering a starting check number. Next, click new. A list of employees appears on the screen. For multi-location employees, each location is listed. If changes need to be made for an employee, click the field and make the adjustment. Use the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen to view available fields. When all information has been reviewed and changes made, click Save. If you are not ready to save to the batch, you can simply click hold and continue working at a later time. To edit a previously processed batch, click the edit button on the right side to display a list of all batch payrolls that have been created. The status column shows whether a batch has been printed, is processing, meaning it is on hold, has been processed, meaning that the checks have not yet been printed or deleted. Highlight the specific batch to review. The employees included in the selected batch are displayed and can be sorted by clicking the column headers. Highlight the employee that needs to be edited or select them from the employee code drop list. If changes need to be made and the check has already been printed, delete the check and process the check again. Please see the live and ATF payroll tutorial for more information on how to process a single employee's paycheck. If the check has only been processed and adjustments need to be made, edit the applicable fields and click Save. Live batch payroll checks are not completely processed until they are printed. Go to Employees, Check Print. If you need assistance printing checks, please see the Printing Checks video. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.